Hi friends, thanks for joining me today for our third part of our series on creation and how God calls us to care for the earth. This week we're going to talk about climate change, but let's start first with our scripture. You may remember it from our first week where we talked about creation. What part of the Bible does that come from, the story of creation? Do you remember? That's right, it comes from the very first book, Genesis. And our scripture today, I'm going to read the whole passage, but I want you just to focus on the red highlighted parts, because that will be our Bible verse for today. Let's listen. Then God said, let the earth grow grass, plants that make grain and fruit trees. The fruit trees will make fruit with seeds in it, and each plant will make its own kind of seed. Let these plants grow on the earth. And it happened. The earth grew grass and plants that made grain, and it grew trees that made fruit with seeds in it. Every plant made its own kind of seeds, and God saw that this was good. Now I have a question for you. What is a mission? That's right, it could be a job or a task, something you're hoping to get done. It could be something for yourself or it could be something for others, right? If it's something for yourself, you might have a mission that you'd like to learn your multiplication tables by December or learn to play a new song on the piano or on your instrument. But then it also can be something that you are called to do by God for others. For instance, the youth group just had a good mission project where they made a hundred lunches for the night ministry for teens who live out on the street. Way to go, Pilgrim. Okay, I'm going to read through the scripture one more time. But this time I want you to take a piece of paper, any blank piece of paper, and then use some markers or crayons or paint, whatever you'd like to use. As I read through the scripture again, I want you to begin to make a picture of what it means to you that you hear me saying. Here we go. Then God said, let the earth grow grass, plants that make grain and fruit trees. The fruit trees will make fruit with seeds in it and each plant will make its own kind of seed. Let those plants grow on the earth. And it happened, the earth grew grass and plants that made grain and it grew trees that made fruit with seeds in it. Every plant made its own kind of seeds and God saw that this was good. What did you begin to draw? I know it wasn't enough time to finish your picture, and I'm hoping that you'll finish it after our time together today and send me a photo of it because I would love to see what you had created. Here's what I created. What is your favorite plant that God has created? Is it flowers or a certain kind of tree? or the grass to lay down in, or maybe a pumpkin. We see a lot of those this year at this time of year. I hope that you will put some of that into your picture. What was the last line of our Bible verse today? That's right, and God said that it was good. God cre has created a good and beautiful world around us. And we're learning in the last three weeks that it's ours to take care of. Okay, now we're gonna take a moment and get moving here. We're gonna have a little recycling game. I want you to go and get your bin where you keep your recycling, and then you're also gonna need a container for you to aim at to see how many you can get in there. As you can see, I have brought my recycling out here, and we're gonna, when I say go, we are gonna start and see how many items we can get into the basket in 10 seconds. Okay, get your basket ready. Not too close, don't be cheating. 
and stand back with your recycling. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many did you get in? Well, look at me, I missed two. So I hope you did a little better than me. Maybe you're a better shot. Okay, now back to our story. So the mission we're talking about today is about climate change. We're gonna learn a little bit about climate change first, and then we'll see what our kids' mission is. What is climate change? Climate change describes a change in the average conditions, such as temperature and rainfall, in a region over a long period of time. For example, 20,000 years ago, much of the United States was covered in glaciers. In the United States today, we have a warmer climate and fewer glaciers. Global climate changes refer to the average low term changes over the entire Earth. These include warming temperatures and changes in precipitation or rain, as well as the effects of Earth's warming, such as rising sea levels, shrinking mountain glaciers, ice melting at a faster rate than usual in Greenland, Antarctica, and the Arctic, changes in flower and plant blooming times. Weather describes the conditions outside right now in a specific place, for example, if it was raining outside right now, that's a way to describe today's weather. Rain, snow, wind, hurricanes, tornadoes, these are all weather events. Climate, on the other hand, is more than just one or two rainy days. Climate describes the weather conditions that are expected in a region at a particular time of year. Is it usually rainy or usually dry? Is it typically hot or typically cold? A region's climate is determined by observing its weather over a period of many years, generally 30 years or more. So for example, one or two weeks of rainy weather wouldn't change the fact that Phoenix typically has a dry desert climate. Even though it's rainy right now, we still expect Phoenix to be dry because that's what it usually is. Earth's climate has constantly been changing, even long before humans came into the picture. However, scientists have observed unusual changes recently. For example, Earth's average temperature has been increasing much more quickly than they would expect over the past 150 years. Some parts of the Earth are warming faster than others, but on average, global air temperatures near Earth's surfaces have gone up about two degrees Fahrenheit in the past hundred years. In fact, the past five years have been the warmest five years in centuries. Many people, including scientists, are concerned about this warming. As Earth's climate continues to warm, the intensity and the amount of rainfall during storms, such as hurricanes, is expected to increase. Droughts and heat waves are also expected to become more intense as the climate warms. When the whole Earth's temperature changes one or two degrees, that change can have big impacts on the health of Earth's plants and animals too. There are lots of factors that contribute to Earth's climate. However, scientists agree that Earth has been getting warmer in the past 50 to 100 years due to human activities. Human activities such as burning fuel to power factories, cars and buses are changing the natural greenhouse. These changes cause the atmosphere to trap more heat than it used to, leading to a warmer Earth. Climate change or global warming is affecting the whole beautiful Earth that God has created for us, making it harder for crops to grow and animals to live in their natural habitats and for us to just breathe. 
Just in the last month, you may have heard and seen pictures of the wildfires in California and how the air quality is being affected all the way up through the state of Washington. And the most recent Hurricane Sally has been infecting it in the south. These natural disasters are increasing due to climate change. Now, what can we do? God is calling us to be the kids of mission, to care for the environment and change the way that we do some things. We can do it together. I've attached two videos to our lesson today. One is about children around the world and how climate change is affecting their countries. And another is about ways that all of us can change even in the littlest way to make a difference in the global warming and climate change. Okay, now for our science project. Today, we're gonna to start a project called the water cycle bag, and we'll be able to see the end of it tomorrow. These are the items you'll need. You'll need a Ziploc bag, a permanent marker, some good tape, and some water with food coloring, whatever color you want it to be. Since the earth has a limited amount of water, it has to change around and around in something called the water cycle. The water in your project will warm from the sunlight and evaporate into vapor. When the vapor cools, it will change into liquid or become condensed, just like a cloud. And when enough water has condensed, the air can't hold it anymore and the water will fall down in precipitation, like water or rain or snow or sleet. In a real water cycle, rain, snow, or sleet might land in a body of water like a river or an ocean. And it might also fall on dirt where it soaks into the soil and either becomes groundwater that animals and plants drink or it runs off the soil and falls into the rivers, oceans, or lakes. And that is collection. That's why we need to control the pollution that's in our water and air, right? Okay, so let's get to our water cycle project. First, we're gonna start by drawing up towards the top where the zipper part is of your bag. We're going to draw a cloud and a sun. My sun's gonna look like this. Mine's gonna have a smile. Okay, so we have that. And then along the bottom, you're gonna draw a water line. All right, so it's gonna look like that. Okay, so now you're gonna add a little water to the bottom, not a lot, just enough to cover the bottom edge of your bag. So that's why it kind of helps to have it already mixed up. I'm going to pour a little bit in there. And then I'm going to make sure that I seal it really tight. That's the key. Nice and tight. Now we're going to go over and tape it into a nice sunny window. And this is where the cycle is going to begin. So I have it taped up into my window. And now the hard part starts. We have to wait at least 24 hours for something to happen. By tomorrow, about a whole day later, you're going to see that the water has started to work its way up and there's going to be little drops or precipitation all across the top, just like it happens in the world and goes up into the clouds. So then you will gently push them down and they will go back into the water and the process will start over again. And you'll see the water cycle that we spoke about. I've also attached a video of the making of the water cycle bag. So feel free to watch that 
and see how that little boy does the project. Well, today we heard a lot about what we need to do to do a better job of taking up care of God's creation. I hope you would join the kids' mission that God is calling us to do. We can all make a difference, no matter how old or how little we are, to make a change in this world and how we do things. Thank you for joining me this September as we explored the earth. I hope you will join me next week as we begin a new month and a new theme as we look at Philippians 3, Running the Race. Have your running shoes ready. Bye. See you then.